Hey there, welcome back to OD Place. Glad you can uh, join us. Then we will now continue the playthrough for uh, Terraforming Mars with a Corporate Era variant and also Card Drafting Era variant, which is about to start the action phase for uh, Generation 4. Saturn Systems will now bring more immigrants from Earth, so they will uh, complete the project Immigration sh Shuttles. It will cost them 31 credits, but they can increase their uh, cr uh, credit production by 5 steps. And because it is a space project, they can use the Titanium. They have four of them, so that will offset 12 credits. So they just, they just need to pay uh, 19 credits. And they will also gain one victory point for every third city in play. They don't have to own the city themselves. So I guess now we have a lot of people attracted to Mars because they heard about the terraforming process, but we just don't, don't have enough cities uh, to, uh, I guess, uh, harbor all these new immigrants. So Saturn system will have to wait till there's more cities on the board before they can uh, gain some victory points. But for now, let's increase the credit production by five steps. And that's it for them for now, and they have decided to pass. And now it's back to us, Fobo Log. Uh, I always wanted to play the Protective Valley, so that we can place a greenery tile down, and after which we can place down the mining area. And because this tile has to be placed adjacent to a tile, tile we already own, that's why we had to play this first. But I just realized, looking at the map, uh, Protective Valley allows us to play the greenery on an area that's reserved for oceans. So that means we can play them on any of the blue areas here. The problem with that is the reason we want to use mining area is to increase our titanium production right here. And looking at the map right now, the titanium production will be uh, possible if we place this tile onto an area with a placement bonus of titanium, which on the servers on the Mars right now, there's only this space right here and that space over here. So in order for that to work, the greenery tile cannot be nearby, uh, cannot be in the ocean spot because around the ocean spot, there's no titanium production, uh, titanium placement bonus uh, in those areas. And we could put, place it here and get an extra production for steel, but steel is not what we're interested in, but we're interested in titanium instead. So I don't think, that was, that was a little miscalculation on my part, and I don't think we can play Protective Valley just yet. And instead, what we're gonna do is use a standard greenery project uh, down over here. So by paying 23 credits, we can place down a greenery tile anywhere we want on the board for now. And then after which we'll play the mining area where we'll place that little tile on the surface next to our greenery tile and get the titanium production this generation. So we'll pay 26 credits, uh, 23 for the standard greenery project and four for the money area project. So those will be our two actions for this turn. So I think it makes sense for us to place it over here to get the placement bonus of two plants. And we'll put the money area next to it. And we'll just place it over here. Like that. And because of the greenery tile that we place, we increase the oxygen level by one and also our terraforming rating by one. So we get a placement bonus of three plants in total and also one titanium. And we also completed mining, uh, we also finished the mining area project. So let's put it down here. And because we got the titanium as a placement bonus, we now increase our titanium production by one, finally. And with that, uh, those are the two actions that we have, and we have to move to Helion now. Helion had decided to build a giant space mirrors, and that will allow them to produce more energy in the future, because I guess they shine the sun down onto Mars and therefore generate more solar energy. And it is a space project, so they can use their titanium to pay for the cost. And it's exactly three credits they need. And they have decided that's it for now. They're gonna pass on to Mining Guild. The Mining Guild will now finish their adaptation technology. So they will pay 12 credits for this. And it allows them to basically, uh, any card that requires a certain oxygen, ocean, or temperature on Mars will now be a plus minus two steps more flexible. 
Uh, you you can probably see that coming to play a little bit later. But for now, they pay twelve credits for completing completing the project and also get one victory point at the end of the game. So that was their first action, and they are actually gonna do more. They are going to complete the tectonic stress power. So this requires them to have two science tech, which they have because of the adaptation technology and also this one right here, the natural preserve. And it is also a building project, so they can use their steels for it, but it will allow them to increase energy production by three steps and also a victory point at the end of the game. I guess they have harvested the power of earthquake and converted it into energy for them to use. So I think that's a pretty efficient use of uh, the natural's energy. Anyways, so they are going to use uh, six steels to offset for 12 credits in the cost. So they actually only need to pay six credits for this project. Back to Saturn systems and they have decided to simply just pass for this generation. So they are done. And back to us Phobolog, a lot of our projects are simply too expensive to be played at this time. So let's set those aside. And so some of them don't have the required uh, environmental uh, parameters to be played yet. And these can be played later because that just gives us an extra victory point. And I think what we're going to do though is using our water import from Europa so that we can play the Nitrofluidic Moss right away. That requires three ocean tiles, and right now there's only two on Mars right now. And the good thing about the water import is we can use our Titanium. And each Titanium is worth four credits, so we actually just need three Titaniums to play this. So let's do that right now. We'll place a water uh, ocean tile onto the surface of Mars. And then we're going to pay eight credits to play Nitrofluidic Moss. And that will require us to consume all our credits right here. And rules two plants. So let's convert that right now. And increase our plant production by two. So now we'll have a steady string of plants production coming in. So those will be our two actions. And we'll place a green cube to indicate that we can no longer use that action this uh, generation. So we'll place the ocean tile. Let's see, there's many choices, but we can just do, let's say, for example, here. So now we get a placement bonus of two plants, and because it's next to another ocean tile, we also get two credits as a placement bonus. And of course, our terraforming rating is also increased by one. And we get two plants for the placement bonus, and two credits for uh, next to the ocean tile. And now Helium will decide to use the space mirror by uh, paying seven credits to increase the energy production by one step. And they, that's the only action they're going to do for now, and they'll go move on to Mining Guild. And the Mining Guild has decided to simply pass for this generation, so they're out of the picture as well. And since Saturn Systems has, has already passed, it's back to us. But with only two credits, there's really not much we can do. We do have two Titanium, I guess we could play this, but we probably are better off sa uh, saving our resources for the next generation. So uh, right now, the best thing for us to do is probably just pass. So we too will pass. Helium is the only company left, and they have decided to uh, complete the Equatorial Magnetizer project. It costs them 11 credits, but they can use steel to offset that. And by decreasing energy production by one, they can increase the terraforming rating by one as well. So two steels and seven credits. And right off the bat, they're going to decrease the energy production to use equatorial uh, magnetizer. And the terraforming rating is now up to 23. So these two actions can be a very deadly combo. For Helium, that just means every 7 credits they spend, each generation would mean one extra victory point for them. So that's something to be reckoned with. And anyway, since everybody else has passed, Helium can do as many actions as they want before they decide to pass, which will be the end of this, uh, this generation. They do have some heat resources they can use to raise the temperature, but alas, they decided not to use them and simply pass for this uh, generation. With that, we move on to the production phase. We'll start with Saturn systems. They have a terraforming rating of 20, 
plus 10 production, so they get 30 credits. They also get forced uh, titanium, and the energy that they didn't use becomes heat, and they will produce one more energy for this uh, for now. And that's it. And for us Phobolog, our terraforming rating is at 24 right now, and with zero production for credits, we just get 20, 24 exactly. And we also get one titanium and two plants. And we will refresh our action so that we can use it again next turn. And for Helion, the terraforming rating right now is 23. And with zero production, they just get 23. They will also get two steel and one titanium. And seven uh, heat. And they will refresh their actions. And lastly, the mining guild. Their terraforming rating is 22, plus a production of 1, they get 23 credits. And they also get 2 steels. Uh, and this energy now becomes heat. And they get 5 more energy and 3 more heat. And now moving on to generation 5. And the first player marker now comes back to us, Phobolog. So for this research phase, let's see what projects we, ha uh, we have to look at. So the first one is uh, Callisto Pino Mines. Not sure what that means. But anyways, so it will increase our mega credit production by 3 steps, give us 2 victory points. It costs 24 credits, however. But it is a Jovian uh, symbol, so that means we can actually get 1 extra victory point because of, of our water import from Europa right here. So essentially for 24 credits, we get 3 victory points, so that's not too bad. And we have towing a comet. We get some oxygen level increase, water on the surface, and also 2 plants. Not too terribly interesting in my opinion. And acquired company, just increase our mega credit production by 3 steps. So that's quite similar to the, the mines here, except that this has more victory points for us in store. Uh, for a difference of 14 credits. And lastly, we have a research outpost. When you play a card, you may pay 1 mega credit less for it. We get to also place a city tile next to no other tile. Uh, so this is actually not bad for the benefit here. And also you can place the city down for just 18 credits. Normally in a standard project, the city will cost you 25 credits. Hmm... This is 3 victory points essentially, but it's, it's not cheap, it's quite expensive. However, it, it is a space project, so we can, we can use our titanium, which, which is actually pretty good for us, because our titanium is actually worth 4 credits. Mm, or we can just go cheap with just $3, 3 credits increase, by paying 10 credits. I think getting the victory points will be more if, uh, important for us. Uh, this is just way too expensive for us, and the research outpost, uh, I don't think it works well f with our strategy right now, because we don't really have any strategy for cities, we mostly just want to put down greenery tiles and complete space projects. And looking at our current projects at hand that we have not completed, so we have a few that has the green plant tags on them, uh, so that we can place the insects to generate more plants in uh, later, later uh, in the later rounds, and we're waiting also to get the nitrogen rich asteroid when we have enough plant tax uh, in play. We we already have one already, so we're waiting for at least two more. Um, so none of these really have any synergy with our current projects at hand, but the this will give us 3 uh, victory points at the end of the game, and also 3 mega credit production. So that's not such a bad idea, I feel. So I think we're gonna keep this in our hand and pass the other, the other 3 to... Let's see, it's, it's generation 5, so it's an odd number, and therefore we pass the cards to counterclockwise to Saturn systems. And I don't think they will benefit. They will probably benefit for towing a comet because they have a lot of titaniums. But that's about it, I think. So, I think I'm going to choose this and pass the other three. And right now, you can go click on the I in the top right hand corner and cast your vote. Maybe you, you ha would have done differently. You 
maybe you would have picked the one of the other three cards instead. So just cast your vote there and let me know. But for now, we're keeping this. And pass the other three to Saturn Systems. So now let's see what projects the uh, healing has decided to pass on to us. We have first of all artificial photosynthesis. It can actually increase our plane production by one or energy production by two steps for 12 credits. So that's not too bad. The plane production we can use to further increase our greenery production. And CEO's favorite project. So you add one resource to a car with at least one resource on it. So if, for example, if, if there's a car that says, you know, you get one victory point for every animal resource on this car, then you can use this to, to add another resource. So it's basically one credit for an additional victory point in that case. Lastly, we have the gene repair. It requires three science tags, which we are near nowhere near close enough. We have no science tech in our uh, projects right now. Increase the mega credit production by two and get two victory points. So that's actually pretty good if you have enough science tech. And I think right now what makes sense for us is artificial photosynthesis because of the plane production increase we can get. However, if we pass on these two cards, they will go to our right to Saturn systems. They have three science tech, which is enough for them to play this car. And for them, that would be 12 credits for two uh, mega credit production increase and also two victory points. I think that's a pretty good and powerful car for them. And therefore, we probably have to make sure they don't get this project at all. And so, and this car, even though it's pretty good, it's not that great, I think. So between helping ourselves out or preventing, uh, denying Saturn system from getting this project. I think we're going to hold on to Jing Repair and pass on these two to Saturn systems. So that's what I'm going to do. But would you have chosen differently? Would you have chosen the artificial photosynthesis or even the CEO's favorite project instead of uh, Jing Repair? So just cast your phone on the top right hand corner in the little eye, uh, icon and let me know. But for now, I'm going to keep this and pass these two to Saturn systems. And two more projects from Helium. So we have Development Center. You can spend one energy to draw one project card. So fairly straightforward. The other one is Protected Habitat. Habitats. Opponents may not remove your plant, animal, and micro tag. This could come in handy, I think, because sometimes when opponents play a space event like uh, crashing an asteroid onto Mars to raise the temperature, they can actually remove your plants. So this will protect our plants from that. So I think we're going to keep this one and pass this on to uh, Saturn Systems. And lastly, we receive one more card from uh, Helium and Symbiotic Fungus. So it allows us to add a micro to another card. So say another card that collects microbes. But it will need to be played at minus 14 degrees or warmer. So looking at our hand of uh, project cards, we only took this because we don't want Saturn system to have it. And this is just the last card that Helion gave us. It's not particularly helpful to us. So I don't think we're going to buy the patents for this project. Uh, this, however, gives us some extra victory points. So we can consider that for sure. And also uh, probably going to get this too, just to protect our planes from being burned by the crashing asteroid. So with that, we have to pay six credits. Now, we only have 26 credits, so I don't know if that's a, that's a very good investment or not. Let me see. What kind of projects do you want to play? So in the next coming rounds, we'll probably play grass, but we don't have the temperature yet. Greenhouses, protective valley, and grass. Okay. Uh, insects. Okay. So I think we had to choose one or not. I think we can do both. These both look pretty good to me. So we'll pay six credits for these two cards and discard these two projects. Hopefully, again, I always say this, but hopefully that's the correct decision. The, the downside is though, okay, let's take the six credits away. Every time I find out there's some good projects to do, and I know like a bunch of them in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine projects in my hand. So I need to fulfill them somehow sooner rather than later. Helium has decided to just buy one of the projects and discard the other three. And with that, I only need to spend three credits. 
the mining guild will uh, pay for two patents and discard the other two. So that will take a cost of three credits. Sorry, six credits. And lastly, Saturn Systems will pay for two of the projects and disc uh, the, uh, discard the other two as well. So that will cost them one more time, six credits. All right, so we will kick off the action phase for the fifth generation. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is, let's see here. There's so many projects in our hand that we want to do, but obviously some of the, some of the more expensive ones will, never, uh, will not be able to complete. And also this one doesn't have the temperature requirement. Man, Helian should start like raising the temperature. Uh, they have so many heat resources, but they're not doing anything about raising the temperature. That's such a bummer. We cannot play this card until it's uh, minus 16 degrees or higher. Otherwise, the grass will probably just die away. Protective value, we cannot play. Insects, we can almost play. Uh, we just need 6% oxygen, it's at 3% right now. If we play with special design together, then we can actually play this at 4% oxygen, which is one step away. Hmm, I think what we're gonna do is... So we have 7 planes right now. We need one more to put down a greenery tile. So what we're gonna do is use the water, the water import from Europa to place down an ocean tile, which will give us a pl uh, placement bonus of 2 planes which will be enough for us to do as our second action, use eight of them to place another greenery tile down. So I think that's what, what we're gonna do for this turn. And therefore, so leaving all the projects aside, we can use titanium to pay for the water. And uh, each titanium was four credits for us. So three times four is 12 credits. So that's enough to place down the water tile. And we'll just place it next to another water tile here. So we get the plan, uh, two plants for placement bonus and also two credits because it's beside uh, next to an uh, ocean tile as well. And with that, we have nine plants, which we can use eight of them to place a greenery tile on uh, Mars right now, planting trees. We had to place the greenery tile next to a tile we already own. So it had to be around somewhere here. So the maximum benefit will be placed here. We'll get two plants uh, back as a placement bonus. So that's what we are gonna do. Either that we can get a project card for free. So it doesn't really matter at this point. And with that, we increase the oxygen level by 1% and our terraform rhythm by two in total, one for the ocean that we place and the other one for raising the oxygen level. And we'll get the two plants for our placement bonus. And with that, that's two of our actions. We're done for now, uh, for our actions. Helian has now decided to complete a security, security fleet project. And they're now protecting our safety in space somehow. Even though it's a space project and, and do, they do have a titanium, they have decided to pay with a full 12 credits for the project. And the reason for that is quite obvious because they want to use the titanium as their second action to, to basically put a fighter jet here. So every fighter jet here is worth one, uh, one victory point for, uh, for healing at the end of the game. So that's the second action. But of course, they can only do that once per generation. The mining guild has decided to establish a research outpost and in the future, when they play any project cards, it will cost them one credit less. And now they get to place a city tile on the map that's next to no other tiles at all. It is a building project, so they can use their steals for it. So two of them will offset four credits, so they only need to pay 14 credits. And the mining guild has decided to establish the research nearby here. So they will get a placement bonus of one steel. And each time they get a placement bonus of steel or titanium, the steel production will increase by one step. And that's only one of the two actions they can do, but for now they've decided to pass. And now Saturn Systems has discovered advanced alloys by spending nine credits. Now the titanium and steel is worth one uh, extra credit. So steel for steels for building project is now worth three each, and titanium for space projects space projects are now worth four each. 
this pretty much turned Saturn systems into like football lock, which is kind of unfortunate for us. It, this car, this project would have been pretty powerful for us to have. And they've decided that's it for now. They're going to pass and it goes back to us. So back to us. Uh, I think we want to save our credits for one of the big ticket items in the next coming uh, generations. We can probably play one of the smaller ones, like Protected Habitat, so that our planes do not get burned out. And perhaps Greenhouses, but then there's no city in place, so we will not get any benefits. The only thing we will gain will be the plane tag, which will help us with insects and also the nitrogen-rich asteroids which are actually quite expensive. So I think we're going to save some of the credits for next generation. And for the time being, just play the protecti protecting habitat habitats uh, so that we can save our planes from uh, getting burned out. So we'll place this down. And we'll spend five credits for it. And I think that will be it for now. Helium will now develop deep well heating and it will allow them to increase the energy production by one and raise the temperature on planet Mars by one step as well. And it is a building project, so they can use the two steels to offset the cost by four credits, so they only need to pay nine credits for this project. So raise energy by one, and we'll raise the temperature in just a bit, but for the second action, they are actually going to use Equatorial Magnetizer to reduce the energy production back to zero and increase their terraforming rating by one step as well. So finally, we're getting somewhere with the temperatures. And helium will go up two in the terraforming rating, one for the temperature, the other one for the Equatorial Magnetizer. And the mining guild will simply spend eight of their heat resources to raise the temperature by one more step. And that's it for now. They're now up to 23. And Saturn system would like to plant some trees now. And it will cost them 15 credits and requires two science tags, but they have plenty more than enough for that. And it just simply allows them to put down a greenery tile. And they have decided to place it over here, right here. So they get two plants for placement bonus. And because it's adjacent to two, sea, uh, two ocean tiles, they also get four credits as a placement bonus. And we'll now increase the oxygen level by 1%. And finally, they are leaving the 20 terraforming rating and going up to 21. So they get two plants and four credits. And that's only one of the two actions, but they're going to pass for now. You would think they were going to do some cool projects uh, having the advanced alloys, but I guess they don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Seeing how the oxygen level is at 5% already, that's a chance that we, may, we might not even need to use special designs to play uh, the insects card. But anyways, we only have 17 credits, which is actually quite a lot. But I think what we're going to do is uh, save these credits for next generation so that we can play more useful uh, powerful cards then and without anything to do and we're just going to pass for now and yeah these these cards we're gonna play them next generation when we have more credits and therefore more flexibility so pass for now and with that we're out of the generation for now healing is going to use eight of their heat resource as their first action to raise the temperature of the Mars by one step. So we're, not, we're now at an average temperature of minus 24 degrees on Mars. And because we are now warm enough, there's more heat being produced on the planet uh, naturally, and therefore will increase helium's heat production by uh, one step as a, uh, as a bonus. And because of raising heat, their terraforming rating is now increased by one as well, tied with, uh, tied with us at 26. And for now, they're going to pass. The mining guild has also decided to pass for this generation. Saturn Systems has decided to pass as well. And now uh, we go back to Helium because we already passed as well. And Helium is the only corporation left in this generation. They are going to spend 16 of their heat resource to reach the temperature on Mars by two steps. 
So Mars is now at the average of minus 20 uh, degrees Celsius. And once more, helium will get a, placement, uh, a bonus in heat production because of this. And of course, the terraforming rating will increase by 2. And with that, they have also decided to pass for this generation, and we're done with this generation. Moving on to production now. So starting with us, we have a terraforming rating of 26. So with zero production, we get 26 exactly, bringing us up to 43. And we also get one titanium, and two more plants, and we'll refresh our actions. Healy has terraforming rating of 28, and that's all they're going to get, exactly 28. And they will also get two steels, one titanium, and also nine, uh, nine heat resources. And we'll refresh their actions. The mining guild has a terraforming rating of 23, plus one production, so that gets them 24. Bring in up to 32. They also get 3 steels. And this energy will become heat. And they will get 5 more energy. And also 3 more heat resources. And now, generation 6. The first player will now go to Helion. Alright, for the research phase, let's see what projects we got. First, we have insulation. So we can decrease any number of our heat production to increase our mega pro uh, uh, to increase our credit production by that much. But right now we have zero heat production, so I don't think this is particularly useful to us. And we have lava flows. We can increase the temperature by two steps, and that's about it, I think. And we have predators. It requires a eleven percent oxygen, and we can remove one animal from any card even our opponent's cards, and add it to this card. And for each card, uh, for each resource, each animal we have on this card is one victory point at the end of the game. Um, right now, nobody else has any animal cards, but they may show up later, so we could use this. We don't mind giving this to, to the other players because we have prote protected habitats, which prevents other players from removing our animals. So as uh, then we have ice cap melting, requires a plus two degree, and just allows us to place a water tile on, onto Mars. But then again, we have water input from Europa, so I think we're good on ocean tiles for now. And that's it. Hmm, so probably not gonna do ice cap melting, and maybe lava flows, but right now we already have a bunch of cards that we're playing, that we still need to complete. So we really don't have any more resources for uh, expensive projects like this. So if we do take it, we'll probably just want to prevent other players from taking it. But I don't see any other player will benefit from this card at all, so probably not. I mean, I can let them take Predators, or, or we can take it. I'm not sure which one's better, actually. <laughs> huh. I think we'll just take... let's see here. This card is pretty useless to Helion because uh, they can already spend their heat as, medic uh, as credits anyway, so this really doesn't help them. And, and this round, this generation, we're actually passing the cards to our left, so in clockwise order. And therefore, this goes to Helion right away if I don't take it, so let's see here. Hmm. We'll probably just take predators and but we probably will not buy uh buy the patents for it we just want to take it for now i guess so let's put that over here and pass these three to helion right now and now let's see what projects we got from saturn systems we have tundra farming uh it requires minus six degrees it will give us plant production and two mega credit production, a plant, and also two victory points at the end of the game. So that's a little bit similar to our kelp farming or something. I can't remember where it is. Where is it? Did I, did I already play it? Oh, it's similar to grass actually. 
So increase the plane production and get three planes. But I guess this one you get actually two victory points, so which is not bad, I think. So let's see what other cards we have. Business network. We have to reduce our mega credit production by one, but we can look at the top card and either buy it or discard it. So it gives it gives us an, an advantage as to the extra projects we may want to uh to undergo. And we have iron works. For four energy, we can convert some material into steels and also raise the oxygen um, by one percent. It would be nice if we have any energy to spend. As I think we just need to make sure this doesn't get into mining guild because they have an energy production of five right now, so they can easily use this card to raise the oxygen. But that's for helium to to uh to ponder. I think we could benefit from this if not for the plane production but for the uh for the uh, victory point, uh, victory points at the end of the game so i think we'll keep this and pass these two onto helion right now and now we have from saturn systems again mars university whenever we play a card with a science tag we can discard a card from our hand and draw a new card and it also has a victory point on the end and the other one, we have Artificial Lake. Uh, basically, you get one victory point to make an Artificial Lake by spending 15 credits, but we need minus 6 degree. Hmm. I think this is pretty much a guarantee one victory point. The lake we can actually get cheaper from the water import from Europa. So I think we'll keep the Mars University card, the project, and this card... The artif uh, not this card, uh, give this uh, artificial lake to uh, Helion. And lastly, we get another project, Asteroid, from uh, Saturn Systems. And that completes the drafting phase. We now must decide what we want to uh, buy, actually. And Helion has decided to buy only one of the four projects and discard the other three. And they only need to pay three credits for that. And the mining guild decides to buy two of them and discard the other two. So with that, they had to spend six credits for that. Saturn system will buy two and discard two. And again, that will be six credits for them. So back to us. Um, I think for Mars University, it's actually a very easy point at the end of, at the end of the game. For just eight credits, you get one point. Predators we don't really care for. Tundra farming is not bad. Um, actually, it's about the same as Mars University. So 8 credits for 1 point or 16 credits for 2 points. In fact, this one is a little bit more worth it because you pay 3 credits to buy the project. That means 19 credits for 2 points or 11 credits for 1 point. So this is more worth it, I think. Hmm... The Asteroid. We probably don't have money to buy... Uh, to complete these projects right now because we have so many expensive projects in our hand already that we want to complete so i think right now maybe we'll just get tundra uh, but then when it's too expensive it's really hard to complete it we might not be able to actually do it but this is a plant project so it sort of goes in line with our strategy of getting more plants so it may be a good idea to get this or we can get we can get none of them and because we still have a bunch here that we are trying to complete. So no point to get too greedy right now. Let's see here. Yeah. I don't know. I think what we're going to do is just contemplate for a little while and think about life. Uh, make the hard decision of just not buying any of these projects because I want to finish the projects in our hand first before we get any more new projects to take on. So we're not going to spend our money at all and we're going to discard all four of these projects. So I think that's the right way to do. Yeah, I think I, you can... Uh, let's see here. Okay, maybe make a pull out of this. Do you think I should have at least gotten at least one of the projects into our hand? 
or was it the right right decision to discard all of the projects and not spend the money the the credits on them so just cast your phone in the top right hand corner and then let me know what you guys think but for now i'm gonna discard all of them all right i think i'm going to take a little break right now and we'll resume the action phase for the sixth generation in in a little bit and hopefully you, you will be able to join me in my next video again but until then i will see you then bye bye